Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, well, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. <laughs> Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Welcome, everyone, to the next Let's Play on Draken Shadow. Welcome to the world of Full Throttle, where motorcycles rule! Now there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Welcome, everybody, to the newest Let's Play on Draken Shadow. And probably, first off, starting with a little bit of an apology. Because this isn't Brave Fencer Versace. Uh, we're actually waiting on some additional hardware to come before we can actually do that. So instead, we're just going to buy some time by also taking on an adventure game we should have taken on last summer. But because of babies, we got way too busy. Yeah, things got so. Starring Roy Conrad and Mark Hamill. Cat Susu. Yeah, believe it or not, this has actually got an amazing voice cast that uh, you guys are going to be able to see showcase throughout the game. And the other cool part is that Mark Hamill actually has multiple roles in this game. Oh, yeah. Multiple roles. This is also cool because this is the first LucasArts adventure game that Ron Gilbert didn't head. Instead, he decided to hand it over, hand the reins over to Tim his then apprentice, Tim Schafer. Tim. Which Tim I've Schaefer. been showcasing to you, Alex, for a while now. Yeah. Uh, that he has been an amazing director of games. And at this point, he actually had two games under his belt that he was working on. Sam and Max in the Road with Steve Purcell, and this one with Dave Grossman. So you guys can check out the first, one of the first games developed by Tim Sheehan. You know, the guy that eventually went off and did Brutal Legend. The guy that eventually went off and did, uh, I can't even remember the, the Kickstarter game that he just barely did a couple of years ago. Ah, crap, I'm not remembering it off the top of my head. But, there you go. This is gonna be an amazing one, as, and also the guy who did the Rip Fandango. Yeah, uh, yeah, Rip Fandango? Yeah, that, that's the, uh, the title. I'm having a weird day, guys. It's, it's, it's January, I've got my mind in other things, and obviously I've turned down the music here because it is from a band that's no longer around called The Gone Jackals, and I have heard that they don't like it when you play their music. Oh, jeez. So. But it was cool, right? I, lo I love the opening track. Of this. <laughs> hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Oh no, it's that Rit limo thing. Yeah, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. Everybody see if you can spot where Mark Hamill is. <laughs> All right! Who's the guy that drove over my car? Bo. What could possibly...
possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm, <laughs> an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Oh, wait, we've seen this biker movie before, haven't we? <laughs> when you step outside, it's not a good thing. I think he's gonna get the crap beaten out of him. And the doctor oh, wait, says talking. he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rot Wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. What's that final offer? Oh, oh, oh. That, is, that is definitely an offer. Um, two by four to the head <sighs> is definitely an offer. Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corville, here we come. Okay, so before we get started, uh, there's a couple of things I need to elaborate here because obviously you guys are probably a little out of sorts. Um, here's the the summation that you would get in the manual uh for this game but unfortunately we don't have that this is this game is based in a post-apocalyptic future where motorcycles rule yes there are the occasional hover car don't worry about that but motorcycles rule this and the only company that makes these motorcycles is corley motors uh as you guys have heard uh from malcolm corley he is the last motorcycle maker in the country if he goes, motorcycles go with him, which will obviously be a sad thing for a motorcycle movie, right? Yeah. And yes, Corley is an allegory for, for Holly, Harley Davidson, all well, right? So, isn't it just like any insert motorcycle maker here? Yeah, they did Corley just because it sounded like Harley. Mm -hmm. So, and, and in fact, the, the other thing that, that helps with that is the tagline of Corley Motors, which is can't beat a Corley. So, like, the, uh, I, I know that that's a dumb thing to bring up right now. It'll make sense later. Trust me. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get things started. Now, unlike most remasterings that have happened from LucasArts, this one does not let you go back to the original game mode. However, at least to my knowledge, but that's okay because really not a whole lot has changed. Uh, everything's just gotten a touch up, especially the models uh, for the characters. But that's about it. And I can just sit here and punch this monster all freaking day. But let's go ahead and get started. Boom. Now, this was also a new era in LucasArts, as you now have a new... Instead of all of the commands right below the screen, you now have one command menu that does it all. So, talking or licking, because mm -hmm. Sierra did licking. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that later at some point. 
You have look at, you have touch or use or punch, and you also have kick. kick. And, or Kick or move. If you want to use that, you can. So just to kind of show, showcase it. I'm not putting my lips on that. All right, and then you have look. I've woken up and worse. Exactly, and then you have... I've touched it enough. And finally... Take that. Take that. And that. And that? And that. <laughs> yep. All right. So, obviously, we know how this works in a biker movie, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Somebody comes up from behind you and hits you over the head with a 2 by 4 There's something you're going to have to pay for. So, at that point, it's time for us to get on our bike. Because we have to start this thing off on our bike. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Uh, nor should you. I, I, I don't know why you would even consider liking that, Ben. But let's go ahead and go into the kickstand. Aptly enough, the, the bar that we start this off in. Yeah. We spend a lot of time at the kickstand. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. Open up. Open up. All right. I'm not putting my lips on that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to start off a biker movie, and that is kicking the door down. I'm, I'm sure the bartender's not going to be mad at us, right? I uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. So, like I said, this is a post-apocalyptic future, and this is kind of the smattering of technology that you guys will see. Is like you have a bunch of monitors here. Uh, you have the automated piano, but everything else is supposed to look like all future techie, and it doesn't really come off as much. You could literally say that this happened in modern day, and, and yeah. you'd be probably right. Let's go ahead and ch take a look at the piano. It's hard enough to play with your fingers. Uh, okay, so play it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. And for that, it gets a kick. Play. Welcome to Full Throttle, where everything can be solved with violence. Uh, just check out a picture. This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. <laughs> <laughs> See, we occasionally get like some humorous, uh, some humorous lines from Tim Schafer in this game, but obviously he was working on Sam and Max at this point, which is more the the funny game. So. Uh, maybe at some point we'll take it on if I can actually procure a disc. But there you go. Let's go ahead and talk to the bartender because maybe he knows where our keys are. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Okay, so we have where'd everybody head off to? I want to know who knocked me out. I'm looking for my keys. What do you got for a headache? What do you got for a headache? What do you got for a headache? A little sympathy. Thanks. But Thanks. not much. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? And as people might be able to notice by now, we're not going to get big elaborate descriptions like we would with, say, Guybrush Threefoot. Ben is kind of a, a short, short, sweet to the point kind of guy. Yeah. Uh, so let's go, yeah. and, let's go and talk to him what again. What do you have? Uh, where'd everybody head off to? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise Who's director? The director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> okay. That was definitely not helpful. You want something? Uh, I want to know who knocked me out. I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. Ooh, you don't say that to a biker. <laughs> you don't. You want something? Okay, I'm looking for my keys. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, that's already kind of suspicious, isn't it? You gonna order something? No. No. Well... There's only one way to solve things in a biker movie. No. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we're going to have to use the upper part of our body, then. You know what might look better on your nose? What? Ha! The bar. <clears throat> now, don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. 
But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. So if people are wondering why Ben cares so much about the Polecats, it's because he leads them. I kind so, of yeah, he's the leader that. of the Polecats, and <laughs> he actually game. here's the other thing: he is a recent leader. He oh. he just recently got appointed. Cool. We will actually meet the previous leader later on, but that's also why he's kind of uncertain of himself as a leader of the Polecats. So with that, without further ado, it's time for us to step onto the bike. And fun fact, everybody: this is technically the first game I ever bought. That's awesome. Um, technically, well, so my brother originally owned it and didn't like it. Right. He, th he thought it was too short for his liking. I loved it. And so what I had to do is I had to take a loan out from my mom to, <laughs> to purchase it for 60 bucks. Wow. Because he wanted his 60 bucks road. back. I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. But they try. Oh, hi. Hey, ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Oh, okay. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. And this is another added feature of the throttle is Tim tried to do innovative things, and one of them is this bike combat segment. We're, we're going to have a lot more to do with that later on in this game, but it is pretty fun. So now that we kicked ass, it's time for us to show our dominance on the road. Yeah, baby. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a problem. Whoa. That's a real problem. It's getting to be a bigger problem. It's a problem. It's a huge problem. Oh shit. No. Oh! Whoa. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Like to make you just something about like killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole is dying. Wish. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty banged up. Yeah. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Um. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can Well, it's fix very clear anything. this woman works for CNN. <laughs> Oops, did I say that out loud? Ah, oh, crap, it's Darth Vader! What are you? I'm a mechanic, Aww. and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. So let's digest this for a second. We got told about how they were going to kill us and make it look like an accident. And that's what they tried to do. They tried to get us to get into a, a very vicious bike accident by losing our front wheel. And now, thankfully, this reporter found us and brought us over to, to this woman who is fixing our bike. Yeah. Out of the goodness of her heart, I might add. Uh, that's really nice of her. So who? Well, I guess the first question we have to ask is, who the heck are you? Well, we know who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Oh, okay. All right. Do you have a last name? Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Aww. Uh, this is an authorized Corley Service Center? This is an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, 
An illegitimate Corley operation? I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. 